<laughs> I am, I am. Uh, good, yeah. Uh, first of all, good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. Today we have a very cool first time, namely first time that we're going to drive the tractor w uh, with on a combined layout, meaning Knowledge Life and the GP track. Another first time is I'm joined by Philip, a good friend of mine. Uh, well, uh, it's the first time that he's joining me on the Nürburgring. It's not the first time that we've been together because we kind of work together and what exactly you can guess following our conversation in a bit. So, first of all, Phil, uh, Philip, welcome on board of the amazing Ring Tractor. Thank you. Um, I'm very excited to introduce you to our audience. So, what do you do? Uh, I shoot cars, uh, basically shoot cars, mostly supercars, uh, for car manufacturers and magazines like Top Gear. And uh, yeah, try to um, make the cars look as sexy as they do in real life also in photos. Yeah, oh, that, I like that description. I, and I think, uh, uh, from what I've seen in your work, uh, you definitely managed doing that. Um, so uh, I think a lot of people for, for them would be interesting to find out how do you get started? How do you go from well being a hobby photographer or a car spotter? How did you get started and ended up in working um, with big brands? I, uh, I breathe the cars were first. Like uh, when I was 14, uh, I was already, already super into cars. Uh, my granddad had a car dealership, so I was surrounded by cars everywhere. And uh, then I, I was, uh, I think I always liked beautiful things in general. So I picked up my dad's camera and you know, tried to use it, make use of it. And um, I really liked it. Um, saved up, uh, worked on all the holidays, and uh, finally I bought uh, my first DSLR. And then you know just played around with it. And, uh, <laughs> um, That's cool. So, and, and then what did you do? You like uh, went to Lamborghini and said like, "Hey guys, can I do your launch pictures?" Or <laughs> like, "Yeah, sure. We let everybody shoot our pictures." <laughs> All, almost. Um, <laughs> no, it was more like uh, you know, I just tried to contact magazines and, and stuff, uh, so to work for them. And then motorsport teams, basically, you know, I was just trying to, to create opportunities where I can shoot cool cars and cool. cool and um, it, it always helped to work for not only private people but, but for company, companies mm -hmm. even when it was for free because they all also had a professional need for images but not always could afford them mm -hmm. so uh, I figured out it was best to work for or work with motorsport teams and uh, because they never really had budget for photos but they really enjoyed to have good photos and use it for their marketing so that uh, yeah my, my first one of my favorite shoes from back then was with the Georg Plaza, who raced the BMW 1 Series with a seven, uh, 600 horsepower jet engine on, on wow. hill climb races. And um, so, one series, the M1. Uh, no, it, no, one M. Yeah, it, one was, M. it was it uh, was uh, one series chassis. They completely stripped it and put in this uh, jet V8 with the 600 horsepower. So it's a completely yeah, it's. A, one series chassis and that's about it. Yeah, so by one um, series you mean the, the current coupe, not the... the ah, yeah, the coupe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the coupe. So something like that, but then yeah. the one series, yeah, exactly, not the series. Exactly. Okay. But, but the previous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, but, but, but I, I didn't know you, you had like uh, roots in motorsport in a way. <laughs> yeah, maybe the roots, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough, how you want to say it, but I love motorsports. And yeah, then I moved to Munich to study mechanical engineering and um, during that period, you know, mechanical studies was always kind of an excuse to uh, do something with your life, but I yeah. was still shoot, trying to shoot full-time, shoot as much as possible and um, uh, yeah, then during, there was not really much time left to study, so it was already crazy trips and everything to shoot cars. Um, somehow finished my studies, um, might have taken a bit longer than for others, but Okay. Some uh, people don't even finish their studies. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then uh, got, got to know, know people. You know, the car car industry is in the end a pretty small. It's a very small group world. Of people Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I worked a lot for free. Uh, tried to get into these brands and. Um, so, to shoot car launches. so what's the, the biggest hint or tip you can give to people then who want to get into this? So start somewhere and just don't be too uh, too shy and arrogant and uh, self yeah, just like I think it's just about working, work, work as much as possible, shoot as much as possible and don't focus on the car too much. Uh, maybe also, you know, try to shoot an ugly car and make it look good. Yeah. So take care of light, location and setting um, and not too much of the car. So 
I think it's a contrary of when you go spotting because when you go spotting, I mean the car is the, the most important thing. Um, but I think you should go for for me it always helps to try to go back from that and have a different approach, try to make the whole image really look nice and not focus too much on what car it is. Yeah. <laughs> How can you drive like this when you when you're talking? Uh, <laughs> Just another day in the office for uh, me, okay, you know. Okay, it's, okay, uh, well, we're not driving a too fast car. We're having like the easy lap, enjoying and uh, having a nice conversation. But uh, no, that's uh, that's very cool. So, what's your what was your most remarkable job, if you're allowed to talk about it? Um, most remarkable, I think the Lamborghini Turbo Millennio uh, back in 2017. We okay. got the car right after its launch, and uh, it was, it's a complete show car, so it doesn't drive. And it was my first uh, work with the Lamborghini, and um, yeah, it was kind of a test for both of us. We can work together, and it worked pretty well. Uh, I built a set in my in my parents' garage. I built kind of a fake propeller fan to to pretend the car is in a wind tunnel. Okay. And um, yeah, so I was like all in for this project because I wanted to work with Lamborghini forever. Yeah. And um, it worked out luckily, and the photos uh, made their way through the company. And yeah. Um, yeah, that started an amazing relationship. Nice. So, like you said, there is a lot of like mocking up happening in, in photo shoots. Uh, also, a lot of things that are you have to do with like uh, fake, so to say. Yeah, I mean, I try to get as much in camera as possible, but sometimes you. Make use of the possibility to let easier Photoshop, um, especially to uh, reduce the amount of work on set because on set time is always expensive, and um, and also yeah, to, it's easier and mostly leads to the same results. Yeah. And do you also get like some creative uh, input, creative direction though, when you are invited to a shoot, or is it just customer says like, hey, I want to do this, and. Uh, you just have yeah. to do what, what they say. It, it depends. Like I have regular clients, and they, they usually be like, "Hey, we get this. What can we do? Can we do something cool?" And then I, I start to bring in ideas, and then we discuss and you know get to uh, collect moods, and uh, we decide together what we want. By, by moods, you mean mood yeah. boards? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Shoot, exactly. Not, not like that. You and them are like starting yeah. drinking together. Like, oh, we're in the same mood, dude. Let's <laughs> let's do the shoot. Yeah, man. I feel you, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but afterwards. Ah, something that we yeah. still need to do. I think. Yeah, yeah right, actually, right, that's right. what we're doing right now because we already worked together. So now we're doing our mood afterwards, yeah, but, right? But without drinking. Uh, yeah. uh, no, no, don't drink and drive. No, yeah. because we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right now. Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, the more regular kindness, the more freedom I have. And uh, there are shoots where it's just like, okay, uh, you need to shoot this car in this date and on this location, and I decide the rest are completely on my own. Mm -hmm. And um, then, uh, especially like the agency jobs, where a huge agency um, already has a crazy concept and all that kind of stuff, um, they they mostly have a concept worked out already, mm -hmm. and then uh, we talk about the concept, and I bring in my ideas, and then I still have a little bit of freedom, so I can, you know bring in ideas but uh, the agency already set the boundaries let's say this way yeah so basically uh, what you're saying is sometimes people don't know you have customer directly for in that case like you mentioned it could be like uh, a gaming Mercedes yeah, or, yeah. or you have agency exactly. that on behalf of customers says like hey we have this idea I would like to, to do something with you and then it's like kind of goes both ways yeah 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 it's something like the really big manufacturers Mercedes Benz and BMW they mostly have agencies involved and um, the smaller manufacturers, um, they used to plan the photo shoots on their own. Um, which or people uh, that are creative themselves. Exactly. Hello. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I really like this because then you, you really talk with the people uh, who are responsible for this kind of stuff and who, who know the product really well. And um, also, yeah, the freedom is bigger, usually. Yeah. Have you ever had a case that uh, you were asked to do a shoot and you said, like, nah, this is not something I would. Either we're gonna change it, or this is something I would like. I find it a bit too, too stupid to have my name attached to it. Uh, to be honest, no, because I think um, I'm only getting hired for what my portfolio shows. So I, I'm mm -hmm. getting hired for what uh, clients can trust me that are really able to do it and to, to execute it really well. So um, yeah, that's also maybe a tip. 
work as hard as possible on your portfolio and shoot as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, I choose one direction. So don't yeah. go like uh, doing cars I mean, together with lifestyle Instagram models or something. Yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, it, <laughs> and decide if it's a, either we want to be uh, like an influencer or a proper photographer. Yeah, I think yeah. there's a, both uh, I really respect influencers for, for the work they put into this. Um, yeah, but maybe it's something different part. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that, that's cool. That's uh, interesting. What's your favorite type of gear that you use? Do you have something like here? Um, yeah, I, I use uh, the Sony camera system. So mm -hmm. the so A7R, Mark um, III, and four mm -hmm. and um, lenses. Yeah, also Sony. And um, <laughs> what what you might see in my photos, I use a lot of artificial flashlight. Okay. And therefore, um, I use the Broncolor flashes. Um, which I have a partnership with. So, like three years ago, they they sponsored me in their Gen Next program with a lot of gear, which helped me a lot to um, develop my style of photography of shooting cars. And um, yeah, they, especially the Bronkler Germany dealer, he always laughs when I call him because he says I have the biggest uh, portable flash system in Germany, um, which really helps to to create long, long, nice shadows in photos and. Uh, Amazing contrasts. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So, how this whole uh, Corona thing has been affecting you? I mean, like, um, much by it at all? I mean, in the beginning, I was, you know, kind of worried um, if this will change the whole car industry um, in terms of how they sell their cars. Um, so, it was too quiet month for me, um, but pretty quick as soon as there was the slightest sign of the situation is getting better um, I went to Italy to shoot again so when I, as soon as the borders opened to Italy we went there and uh, we shot a Lamborghini in Top Gear and Alfa Romeo in one week um, so from from when the borders to Italy opened it's full throttle it's, it's continuous shooting every week just like we do currently on the ring Exactly. <laughs> but that's kind of like two sides of the story. Uh, I think some people say like, okay, yeah, of course, business slowed down, but companies started realizing the benefit or the importance of digital content. So yeah. I think now you probably maybe even have a bit more work. Eventually, yeah, it was funny because when when Geneva was cancelled, oh, uh, oh, it still hurts, man. Not yeah, much, yeah, but. yeah, really. Oh. <laughs> um, my favorite car show. Um, I cancelled my trips, but then the day before, we were talking with the. Um, people from British Magazine. Yes, you did the Koenigsegg. Uh, yeah, thing, exactly. Right? So we, we shot the, the Koenigsegg uh, Chimera on, on the stand actually. Um, and the photos made it on the Top Gear cover after, after that. So yeah, I was still in Geneva, but it was really sad to see all the, the, all the stands already being re. How do you say? Rebuilt? Yeah, yeah, being like broken down. Yeah, broken down, exactly. And um, so I hope, I mean, there will be a change in the. In the car show industry but I, I hope at least some of the most important shows will stay alive yeah definitely definitely what's the thing that you always look forward to during a shoot <laughs> what's the most rewarding is it the execution or the result um, I mean it, I think I'm pretty critical on my on my own work during the shoot so I, I'm pretty quick getting in a bad mood if the light doesn't work out as I want to have mm. um, <laughs> I haven't had bad mood with you, so it was, <laughs> maybe you were well fed. We had good chocolate yeah, croissants. Uh, good, on good food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> good catering. Um, yeah, but, but I don't know, it's, it's the whole process, you know, it's not just the photo shoot, it's uh, also the, the, the traveling, the getting to different places. It's everything combined, what I really love about this job. Mm -hmm. And meeting people like you that are oh. crazy into cars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, just meet like-minded people and great locations to, to, to do cool stuff with cool cars. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, I think the, the same answer could, could be for me. It's the same like asking like, what's your favorite car or what's your favorite this? Who's your favorite child? Yeah. You just cannot answer, you know, it's the whole thing. You're in the industry for the love of automotive, I guess. Yeah, That's, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah and the people behind. Absolutely. The, the people behind these, it's, yeah, sometimes not really not about the cars, but about the people behind. To hear their stories, how they build the cars, how what they think when when they work on their cars or the projects. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, that's awesome. Well, we're approaching the end of the lap. I think it was a pretty cool lap, and uh, thank you very much for your input. Thanks for having me. Yeah, especially uh, <laughs> when you joined them, we said like, yeah, we're gonna do a video together. You're like, what, of me puking? You were a very good passenger, so <laughs> you managed to I talk. I don't even have time to to, to follow the road. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but, but, but that's cool. So I, I, I hope our audience enjoyed it as well because I'm sure I have lots of like car spotters and uh, hobby amateur and semi-pro pro photographers who would like to uh, yeah get more professional into it. So make sure to give Philip a follow. Stay tuned for the upcoming projects. Um, maybe with the ring tractor, maybe we need. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I know like uh, this car has a tradition, like every part that is being installed on in it needs to cost more than the car. And I know that it's like you even like an amateur photographer should ask more for the price well, like <laughs> for his photo shoot and I know your prices would be also more so maybe we can do a deal there <laughs> I guess we can figure something out <laughs> but, but only if we can put flame stickers on the doors hmm well you told me that you can do a lot of Photoshop so maybe we no can... no no no, no. Uh, we need to get it in camera <laughs> get it on camera I'll, I'll, I'll bring the stickers <laughs> okay well stay tuned for that I'm looking forward for it and uh, yeah it could be like a one lit golf and lit photo shoot but first before we well we're gonna say goodbye we we're gonna make a stop at devil's diner because our order of Caesar salad with chicken should be finished now but, um, I'm very much looking forward to that for the next part thanks for joining and uh, see you next time bye, bye. we got it nice Caesar with chicken salad no wait Caesar salad with chicken <laughs>